think that Kagan, who was, who was the Solicitor General at the time this was all done, uh, probably should re recuse herself, which means that uh, that uh, it might not be resolved by the Supreme Court. That then means, we're in deep trouble. Well, that means that the lower court, no, it means the lower court decision will be, become uh, at least the acting law at that Except time. Except that there's one on the other side in Michigan that has the reverse side. So which well, that, one would be the acting? Well, Michigan would have to live with that one, and I guess the rest of us would have to live with the other. But the fact is, it, it is important that the Supreme Court decide this. I'm not convinced it has to go 5-4. I actually believe there are justices on the court like Breyer and like Ginsburg uh, and of course Kennedy, who will go with the uh, the four uh, justices who are considered a little more conservative. Let me ask a quick question. The um, bill was signed last March. The day or so, either that day or the day after, Florida filed its lawsuit right. seeking to have it declared unconstitutional. Justice Kagan wasn't sworn in until August. She was at the Justice Department, at the Solicitor General. If she had nothing to do with figuring out how to defend against the health care, do you think she should anyway disqualify herself as being part of the Justice Department? Well, that's her decision in any event. Uh, what would you think? Well, I, I, I personally believe she probably should recuse herself because I'm sure that she participated in discussions at the White House, participated uh, in discussions uh, in the Solicitor General's office because these issues were brought up by me, these constitutional issues, uh, throughout the process. So it wasn't something that just suddenly appeared. Uh, you know, I, I think, again, uh, it's going to be up to her what she does.